thought we'd take a quick peek at this lemon tree. If you recall, I uh, I pruned it back. I don't remember what date. I'll put the date on here. What date it was. But anyway, if y'all recall, I really pruned this tree back. You can see she's coming on strong. Well, let's get on in the kitchen with what we're going to do. Well, how y'all doing? It's Papa again. And uh, I've got a few things to cover on this video. One of them is making my show enough good cornbread. And uh, another is I wanted to point out to you how well the the uh, lemon tree is doing now after almost two months of uh, since I pruned it back it's really coming on strong and I want to dedicate this this video to two little fans I met this mo this afternoon Maya and Mia Maya and Mia are from not far from where I live and I met their mom and dad and uh, uh, <laughs> I'm just in the store getting ready to check out. Little girl, I hear her yell, Paw Paw! And she come running up to me, and, and it, it surprised me because the past few uh, days, of course, I've been wearing my Santa Claus hat. So everywhere I went, you know, I was giving peppermint candy to kids. But her and her sister come running up, Paw Paw! We like doing it cheap! We like doing it cheap! <laughs> And it, oh man, it warmed my heart. And then their mom and dad came up and said, yeah, we're subscribers. I said, well, that's cool. So we talked for a little while and, you know, got the picture here. And uh, I, uh, I don't live far from my Aldi, Aldi store. That's where we met, was at the Aldi. And uh, so I came home and I got a couple of my business cards. I figured little girls might get a kick out of them. So, I gave them each one of my doing it cheap business cards. And I wrote on the bag, you know, it was very nice to meet you. Signed it, Paul Paul. And I got my cell phone out to do a little quick video where, because they were so excited they was going to be on YouTube. So I got my camera out and or my phone and I'll be darned if I didn't mess up the filming and all I got was seven seconds of me rambling so there ain't no video to show you but I'm, I'm sorry girls but uh this video is dedicated to Maya and Mia and uh, when I told them it's gonna be about cornbread their mama went and got the stuff to make cornbread so uh, let's get right into it and I'll show you what Papa does now the first thing I want to tell you is there's no right or wrong when it comes to making cornbread. I have taken recipes off of different bags and listened to the recommendations of different places. I come up with my own and we're going to pour a little bit of oil in here. It's supposed to be about an eighth of a cup. Eh, I might can handle a little bit more. It's not real critical. You want about an eighth of a cup of oil. Now what I'm making is I'm making enough cornbread for two people. I'm just using this skillet here. This measures about six inches in here. So if you need a, if you want to make a bigger batch, all you got to do is just increase the, uh, oh, increase the size of your skillet and increase your uh, contents. Or ingredients but this is just one I make for me and this works out great if it's just two people you each get a pretty darn good si big old slice and it's fine for four people if you got plenty of taters to eat with it you just cut it in four pieces but anyway we're going to use an eighth of a we're going to use an eighth of a cup of oil uh, about two-thirds of a cup of milk. We we'll use two eggs. And one cup of cornmeal. 
one cup of cornmeal. Now I do not, I do not put sugar in my cornbread. That's Yankee cornbread. We down here in Tennessee, we don't use sugar. Unless we're making some hush puppies, and I might then. But what we're going to do here is we're going to put a little bit of oil in a skillet. I'm going to turn the oven on to 425 degrees and let it be preheating. I'm going to put the skillet in there and let that skillet get good and hot. Now, every, everything you've seen me put in here is the basics for good cornbread. That's all you have to have. Cornmeal, eggs, milk, and oil. Now, here's the, here's the differences from what I've seen on, uh, for example, these cornmeal bags. They'll talk about a batch, basically one egg per cup of cornmeal. Well, they'll call for two cups of cornmeal and they call for two eggs. Well, I find that by using, you know, while I'm doing this half a batch, if I go ahead and use two eggs, I get a real nice moist uh, cornbread that really holds together well. And that's mixed up good enough. Now, I've got all kinds of options here. I've got about, oh, a little better than a half a cup of onion, chopped up onions. Almost a cup of shredded mild cheddar cheese. And this is a two thirds of a cup measure. And there's some jalapeno slices. And I'm going to put all that in my cornbread, every bit of it, just because I like it all souped up. Again, these are my options. These are, you don't have to do this. But I just like it. I like them jalapenos in there. I like it cheese. I like them onions. I mean, you make a meal out of this cornbread. And there's my cheese. And I'm going to add one more thing. You can slice you up some sandwich ham. But I've got some sausage links that need to be cooked up. So I'm going to take some sausage links that I just cooked in the air fryer and I'm going to chop them things up and put them in this cornbread. Man, that's going to be good stuff. correct myself. The, the uh, oven needs to preheat to 450 because I like that skillet really good and hot when I pour this cornbread mix into it. So now I will actually bake at 425 but I preheat that skillet to 450. We'll see what it comes up to on a measuring cup. And loosely, it's about a cup, about a cup of sausage. 
that's all ground up, all cut up, whatever. That right there is a meal. Yeah. Now we just wait for that skillet to get hot. I want this to bake at is 425 for 25 minutes. Now I'm going to turn up the volume so you can hear this sizzle when I pour it in the skillet, then I'll turn the volume back down. So don't be worried. Okay. Now that filled that skillet up quite a bit because of all the goodies I added to it. I'm going to set my timer for 25 minutes. And as Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, we'll be back. Well, alrighty then. Turn off that timer and turn off that oven and see what we got. Mmm, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Boy, that looks good. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, all righty then. Let's see what this tastes like. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Well, Mia and Maya, get your mama to make you some cornbread tonight. Mmm. -mm, or better yet, you do it. Just so let her watch. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, now remember, you don't have to put all the ingredients that Papa put in his. But man, you talk about good. Mm. I taste the onions and the cheese, jalapenos, the sausage. It's so good. But this this cornbread will make a whole meal all by itself. That and a big old glass of milk. Well, Maya and Mia, it was nice to meet you today. And all you new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. There ain't no telling what the next video is going to be. Stick around. Make sure you subscribe and ring that little bell. Remember, you got to have cornbread on New Year's Day. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all have a merry... Well, let's see. We done had a merry Christmas, hadn't we? Yeah. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Mmm. Mmm. Happy New Year. Mmm. Hey, Sadie. Yep, this video is Sadie approved.